guys so yeah i don't know if you see anything different and yeah it's because i probably have a lot better quality now and that's because i have a brand new camera um so yeah um i just have a little haul for you it's my korean beauty um product haul i guess and I went to Nature's Republic and I also went to the face shop. I only got a few products from them and so yeah, let me just get started. By the way, I'm still trying to figure out this whole focus thing, thing with this camera so please don't crucify me. Everything looks like not perfect and like shit so, <coughs> so yeah. Um, I guess I'll just start with what I got from Nature's Republic first. I didn't get too much from them, but the first thing that I got was this aloe vera gel. It's supposed to be 92% soothing gel, and they had like a little poster thing that said like, um, it had like multiple uses for it, and you could put it in your hair, um, use it on your hands, put it on your face, um, probably a lot more things. My friend who went with me and brought me there for the first time, um, actually recommended it to me. She's used it before and she likes it. So I picked it up and that was $6.90. Um, then the next thing that I have is actually what's on my nails right now. And it's one of their nail polishes. These were extremely inexpensive. And the packaging was pretty cute. It was only $1.40. This is in the shade um, Lavender Pink. And so far, so good. I've been wearing this color for maybe a week now. Um, and it hasn't really chipped badly on me, and I don't have anything other than the nail polish on. Like, I don't have a top coat or a base coat or anything, um, so I think that's pretty good, especially for what I paid for. And then, of course, I couldn't go without buying any face masks for them. The mask that I got from them is their chestnut mask, and this is supposed to protect your skin and tighten your pores. So, I don't know, I hope that works out. Um... And the other one that I got was the charcoal mask, and this is supposed to mattify your skin. So hopefully they will live up to what they claim. And I think if I didn't already mention this, they were a dollar for each. Then I went to the base shop, of course, and I um, I got a lot more things from them. One of my favorite things about this shop is that the lady was so sweet and she gave so many free samples. Like, she gave a lot of these, like, packet ones. Um, like, this one is the White Snow, um, right, White Tree Snow Exfoliating Foam Cleanser. Um, she gave me the Core Seed Purifying Essence thing for your face, I think. I don't know explain. I don't read Korean. And the last thing that she gave was the mango seed heart volume butter. So that's really nice of her. And then she even gave like these little packets that have um, like three mini products in them. And basically it has, you know, another one of those like packet thingies. It's their sebum control moisture cream, which I think I actually really want to try because I have a pretty oily face. And then inside it came with a little duo of um, the Chia Seed Toner and Lotion. So that's really, really nice of that lady. She totally did not have to do that and she was more than willing to give a lot of samples. Um, so that's really nice of her. And so I guess I'll just start with what I got from there. Um, the first item that I got was their um, BB lip mask. I don't know. My friend tried this out. I've been wanting to try the lip masks because I haven't really seen that around in many places. And I don't know. This was $3, so we'll see how that one goes. Another recommendation from my friend is the White Mud Nose Pack. It's kind of like the Biore strips where like you pull it off and it's supposed to um, clarify your pores kind of thing. Um, I tried this out two times. The first time I didn't put enough so it was such a hassle to take off and I really hated it. Then I put a thicker coat the second time around and it wasn't that bad at all. So I guess you just have to put a lot. Um, 
So yeah, I don't really have a full review on it yet, um, but this was $6. Another thing that I picked up, this was part of their sales section, it's the Herb Day Cleansing Emulsion. Basically it's like a facial cleanser. It says that it's supposed to get rid of debris and impurities, leave your skin feeling supple, hydrated, and exquisitely clean. So we'll see how that goes. This was $3.50 and it's in the scent Olive, if I didn't already say that, for all skin types. So that's very interesting. And lastly I got two makeup products from them. And and the first thing that I got was their Phytogenic Infinite Makeup Base SPF 15 PA+. That's a mouthful. And basically what it is is um, a color correcting primer, I guess you could say, that you put under your makeup. This one is the purple one. Um, I don't know, I haven't really tried it out and I don't really have anything color correcting like this. So I thought I'd try it out. This was on sale for $12.50 so we'll see how that goes. Not the greatest blendability, you do have to work on it, um, but I haven't really tried it on my face so we'll see how that goes. And then lastly what I got from them is a lip stain aqua tint. It's called My Lips Eat Cherry. Yeah, I read that right. My Lips Eat Cherry. Um, I don't know what but basically it's kind of like the Benefit Benetton where it gives a little tint to your lips. I'm actually wearing it right now. You can't tell. It's very mm, subtle. It's not like a bright bam in your face and it's very easy to put on. Effortless. And this was $9. I didn't get too too much because mind you this was right before I mess in. I did do some damage at my mats. If you didn't already see, my bag is right there, so that will be my next haul. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I picked up. If you'd like a full-on review on any of these products, just let me know down below. And thanks for watching. Bye!